Uh oh, if somebody's on the stairs. Oh god, scare. Jump scare. Three, two, one. Okay, nobody. Hello everyone, my name is TJ and welcome back to the Try Not to Get Scared Challenge. Woo! Scary videos that need to be watched from different angles, all angles, whatever angle you prefer. And then the goal is try not to get scared. So do me a favor, if you really do enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring that notifications bell so you don't miss out on anything that I post. Enjoy the video. Factory worker Kama Kaley recently moved from his home country of Greenland to live and work in Denmark. Mm. But little did he know that the apartment he moved into had a horribly dark past. Huh? Seven years ago, a 49-year-old man was brutally attacked and lost his life right outside the apartment's oh, front door. Oh, no. After Kama moves in, he begins to notice his things moving and falling to the floor for oh, no wow. reason. He hears the creepy sound of someone knocking on his door. He came back the to life. inside the apartment slam shut for no reason. And he's haunting One this poor man. Kama hears strange sounds coming from somewhere inside his apartment. He pulls out his phone and starts to record as he tries to find the source of the odd noises. But then the odd noises this happens. What happened? In the bathrooms? This is a TikTok. Is that the no oh my god do oh, whoa bob bob the door is slammed shut? Fart. He's laughing at is the ghost using your bathroom? Using the toilet? It's shutting the door shut and ends up farting. What? What? He, what? He has to go to the bathroom so badly he just ran into the bathroom, shut the door, just slammed it, makes a loud sound, and he starts farting like he's on the toilet trying to get it all out. Hmm? Slam door won't open. Well, you should knock on the door because I think he's actually in there using the bathroom. Don't you do it. There's a ghost in there. Uh oh. Wait, that's not the bathroom. Hello? Anyone there? Nothing is happening. Hmm, outside, somebody's riding a bike. There's a laptop that's open and uh, turned on. I bet. The ghost is gonna try to shut your head. Ah! Oh, that's the loud noise. Kama gets a good jump scare as a door slams shut right in front of him. And, uh, it seems to literally scare a fart right out of him. Wait, wait he's the one that farts? Uh, okay. But now, Nasty. this is where the fun ends and things start to get really dark. There was more! Because another day, not long after sunset, the eerie activity in the apartment starts up once again. Now, Kama is a bit scared, but once again, he takes out his phone to try to record proof of the creepy activity in his apartment. Okay. What happens next is truly creepy. I don't like this. I don't. Don't tell me that door is gonna shut. Oh, that door. Oh, God. Is that an eyeball peeking out? Is that an eyeball? Oh, wait, no, it's part of the door. Never mind. I thought that was an eyeball. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. it's free. It's a free. It's out and about. You better watch out, man. You're going to have bigger problems if you get closer to that. What's gonna? Oh. It just shut. Did you do that? Did you shut the door? You probably did. Took his camera away from him and he just shut it. It's gonna open again. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait. What is that? Is that a helmet? For bike riding? What's it doing right now? Yeah, you better get back, man. Big, get back. <laughs> oh, man, this ghost just kicked the helmet. A cupboard door opens by itself, and Kama's helmet slides across the floor. <laughs> Later that night, Kama decides to live stream from his apartment. 
He says that he's having trouble sleeping because he keeps hearing things moving and falling to the floor over in the next room. More. What happens next, live on camera, is downright chilling. Oh God. Come in. Very hard. Did you hear that? I do not. I mean, I do, but where is it coming from? That's what I meant. Something fell in the other room. You didn't go investigate? Was it audible? Quit with the banging, but <laughs> ghost. Quit it with the banging. Quit it. Stop dropping everything in this dude's house. What did he do to you? Uh oh. Oh my. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ow. 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 <laughs> what happened? What happened? What's he running away from? <laughs> run down the stairs, run! Is he out of it? He lives in an apartment, he's out, just run, run outside! No, 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 close the door, don't look back, run away, save yourself! <laughs> oh, you look back. Oh my god, the figure is, is in the window. Oh my goodness, he's looking at you. He's gone! <laughs> Live on stream, Kama hears the sounds of his belongings falling to the floor in the other room. But when he goes to investigate, the drawers of a small cupboard slide open on oh, their own. Oh, I see that. Kama's head oh enough and runs down the stairs and out of the building. Oh my but god. But when he looks up at his apartment window, he is shocked to see someone or something standing inside his apartment. Oh my god. Seemingly you look looking back. right down at him. <laughs> so Congratulations, Ghost. You scared the poor man away from his apartment. Now the apartment is all yours. <laughs> Take one last good look at him as he's running outside. Bye bye. <laughs> Everything that has happened could Kama's apartment actually be haunted by the <laughs> restless ghost of the man whose life was taken there. Uh, Let yeah. me know what you think. Yep, 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 yep. Just a quick side note, but Greenlandic is only spoken by around 57,000 people in the entire world. So a huge thank you to Nuke's Top 5 viewer Wilhelm for translating. Nuke's Top 5 Viewer Videos Nuke's Top 5 Viewer Natalie Hintz is taking a few iPhone Live photos of her sister-in-law and niece at a scenic lookout in Utah. Oh, pretty! This is something very odd. Oh, pretty mountains, I love it. What's odd? Is that your bike? Whose bike is that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Where did you go? What? what, what? Uh, oh, oh. Dude, that bike is zoom. <laughs> when zoom. When watches the live zoom. photos back, she notices a bicycle riding by at an alarming speed in the background, all on its own. How does? There's no ride. How? And there's no one chasing the runaway bike. Natalie says she is creeped out by the strange photos. <laughs> Viewer Stephen Figueroa says that he's been experiencing paranormal events since he was three years old. He says that he has even seen oh, full-bodied shadow apparitions in his home. So Dude, back in 2000... No child should experience any paranormal activity. They need to begin their lives being as happy as they can be. 10 years old, he says least, that he yeah. was finally able to capture proof of what he's been experiencing. But it's a bit potato because all he had to record back then was his iPod Touch. So what the quality is so bad? Yep. Yeah. Dude, this looks like a this looks looks like a video game from like the 1990s with graphics like this. Or one of those indie horror games that I've been playing. Can't see Oh trash can! Notice <laughs> that the trash can first tips slightly forward, then moves back. Then crashes over onto the Oh my floor. god. A few bags and suitcases fall over as well for no apparent reason. No reason, yeah. Cut what? to 2017. And Steven has now upgraded his video with a new phone. An even better phone. Is that light? Return it on, so what is going on? Now all the things are happening. a rattling noise coming from the hallway outside his bedroom. He once again decides to try to record some proof of his paranormal experiences. And this is when things start to get really weird. Uh-oh. This is not good. 
This is not good. What is that? Is that a mannequin? A picture frame on the wall violently moves and raises up, almost as if it's trying to fly right off the wall. Oh my Since god. this video, Stephen says that his grandmother cleansed and saged their home. And for the last six years, he's happy to report he's never had another paranormal experience. Good. Oh my. Yeah, I thought something was gonna happen to the mannequin. This Painting. next creepy video was sent in by Nuke's top five viewer, Paulus Hellinder. In his email, Paulus says that his brother was home all alone one night at their farm in Finland. Out the window, he notices that the light in the barn has mysteriously turned on. Paulus says that this well, strange event has right? happened many times, Go but no one in his family can figure out why. Now the farm is in the middle of nowhere, and the man is all alone, but oh. nevertheless, he gathers his courage and goes out to turn off the light. He films the barn right. as he searches for any explanation as to why the light turned on. What happens next is downright creepy. Uh oh. It's nighttime. He's gathered all the courage, the confidence, the perseverance to turn off the light. That's his barn. Blur out the license plate. We don't need to see what's on it. What's it gonna turn off on its own right in front of him? No. Okay, good. <gasps> it is the barn. The lights are on. Hello? Who broke into my barn? Show yourself, you filthy thief, criminal, homeless person. This is not a home for you. It's a home for my animals, my cottage, my pigs, my goats, my chickens. Not for you. Okay, just head on out. Nothing's happening, huh? Nothing happened. You can't find anything. Did you see it? No, I did a not pale, see. Pale, undefined face can be seen staring oh my God. in through the window of the barn. Oh my goodness! Seemingly watching the man before disappearing into the night. But <laughs> thankfully, okay. whatever it was seems to have scurried off, and the man returned home unharmed. Okay, good. But what do you think this is? Is it something paranormal? Oh no! Or perhaps something even more terrifying. Paranormal. A real person stalking around the farm in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, that could be a real person. Night. I could be a real person. Hanako-san. A group of friends at a high school in Japan hear crying coming from the restroom during their lunch break. Now in Japan, there is a famous legend of a mm. girl named Hanako-san. This young oh my girl God. spirit is said to haunt restrooms in schools across Japan. Um, why is there a ghost haunting this bathroom? What is going on? Who moves in? What's the backstory? All of them a bit hesitant to investigate the source of the creepy sound. Needless to say, it did not go well. Oh, jeez. What's the story? How do they pass? Oh, oh just fast. You're lying, you're lying. Yo, yo, you, you good? No one in there. Fast forward. Leaving. Hey, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. You didn't hear a voice, no one in there. Fast forward. Up The door is open now. It's open, it's open, it's open, it's open. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh no no no. Who's that there? Hello. Wait, there's no one in there. No one! Yep, it's true. Oh my god! Oh, the girls are just about to leave uh, when they suddenly hear okay. a loud bang and go back for a look. The horrifying I want to see this person again. Oh my god. Okay, let's see it again. Oh my. Yeah, that's creepy. That is creepy. That is, I would say generally terrifying. A young girl can be seen inside one of the restroom stalls. Yo. Pause. <laughs> the group runs in fear. And the video cuts. The skin now, is so pale, too. There's no source to be found ghost. for this video. It appeared on the internet as mysteriously as the Japanese legend. So, did the girls capture evidence of Hanako san? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Dude, that is you terrifying. Decide. 
That's scary. Six year seal. A girl says that she lives in a spooky house that was built in the early 1800s. She says that as long as she can remember, strange unexplained things have happened around the home, Hi. including odd noises and creepy unexplained footsteps in the middle of the night. Tragically, the girl's mother passed away inside the house under mysterious circumstances. Okay. Soon after, the girl's granddad became convinced that there was something evil inside the home. Okay. For unknown reasons, her granddad sealed his bedroom shut, hid the key, and left the house, never to return. The old what? man's room remained locked off for the next six years. Then suddenly, one day the key to the room was found just lying in the open on the living room table. With okay. no explanation as to how it got there. One night, the girl Somebody and her friends decide to explore the allegedly haunted house using a spirit box in hopes of getting some kind of answer from the other side. Mm. And that's when things take a very unexpected turn. If there's anybody with us, can you tell us your name? Zach or Jack? Oh, 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 whoa, 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 uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. You got scared by your sister. sister. unaware of what's going on and simply steps out of the shower to go to her room. <laughs> what? The <laughs> thinks it's a ghost and freaks the f out. But things are about to take a much more sinister turn as the three friends finally decide to unlock and explore her granddad's six year sealed bedroom. Oh, oh no. Dude, Granddad kept this a secret. Why would you go in there after six years? I don't feel good. It is open. You guys got so lightheaded. I just got. After six years. Oh my god. It's a man. You got lightheaded as soon as you walked in. I mean, okay. My head's itching. I think there's lights in here. Leave. You are not welcome. Why is Santa Claus locked up? Santa, Santa Claus, Claus is locked up. Ah, uh, he's been a naughty boy. Up. It could be an object in here. Yeah. Could be. Think about that. Like, it could be an object. You could just burn the whole room. Nothing in the closet, dude. Nothing my in the closet. My back's burning. <laughs> is it really? Is my back's burning. Oh my God. Oh, God. No, you're God. Stop. Go scratch. Scratch marks. Not good. Aggressive ghosts. Oh my goodness. The girls are shocked as their friend seems to get scratched by something inside the room. It took us like five minutes to unlock that door. Like it yeah. wouldn't open. We went in and immediately I felt lightheaded. Didn't you say you yeah, didn't feel good? I, I like, feel good. Yeah. yeah, immediately I yeah, felt I lightheaded good. and I was like, okay. Lightheaded. But, okay, weird. But I was just trying to like play it off, you know, like it's, it's not real. He said that his back was burning and as a joke, I was like, oh, imagine if you had scratch marks. And then he had them. Yeah. And in the video, you obviously can see there was no one near him. After this terrifying ordeal the group believes something is very wrong inside that house they yep. say that they plan on just staying out of that bedroom but what do you think stay, is going on here stay, stay could there be a dark forever. entity linked to that bedroom or is it all just an elaborate hoax i have no you idea decide. pretty hard to tell but yeah it could be just yeah do this for the views you know like this guy probably scratched himself off camera or something or before the footage was even recorded in Michoacan, mexico a photographer named paco is waiting in his studio for his friend eduardo to arrive to work on a project paco suddenly hears his friend eduardo outside his open window talking loudly to someone on the street wait what paco checks his security camera to see what's going on and uh just watch. How strange is this? Who's he talking to? There's no one there. Hey, look at him. What's he doing? He's talking to nobody. He's crazy. Unless it's a different story. There's a ghost right there. What did you just do? Wait, te juro por Dios, wait. That man asked me about. Sort of God. Man came to me and said, "Excuse me, where's love?" Swear. Eduardo swears that a man was asking him for directions, but the security footage shows no one there. 
Oh my Just God. an odd white mist. Ah. So did Eduardo have a conversation with a ghost or a brief mental breakdown? Because he seems convinced. I don't know. So let me know what you think. <laughs> yeah, judging by the face, he was confused too. What's strange is that some person can like see like a a regular person right in front of them, but if you look on camera or in another, another person's eyes, they're basically talking to nobody. Like this guy is talking to nobody, but in his eyes, he actually sees like a person right there, like a full body person. No ghosts, just regular human form asking for directions. Yeah, yeah this is strange. You see this on camera and you're, you're like, wait, what? I was talking to nobody the entire time, but dude, I swear there was somebody in the streets talking to me, asking me for directions. And I had to give him like a, a sweet answer, like a gentleman word. Amateur paranormal investigator Phil Koch has been posting strange captures from his supernatural explorations for 15 years on YouTube. Uh, oh, why? Wow. Yeah, where? Where are they at? Where's the ghost? Okay, something just crashed right next to us. In fact, I crash? featured Phil's videos on this channel many years ago. Previous, oh, what is going on? Something just moved. Something just moved behind uh, the, uh, me. Now, you heard them this the theater night, chair. Phil and his teenage son are performing a paranormal investigation in the attic of an allegedly haunted house in West Allis, Wisconsin. Okay. And things get weird. On the floor. Mm -hmm. All right. 56 Seven, 70 between without them knowing did they did the, i heard the voice but did they say go outside voice seems to whisper go outside but what go happens outside, next touch grass. shocks them to their core you don't belong in my Three. house <laughs> it's not and, safe to uh, stay indoors all day long about an hour since we heard those footsteps coming through here but i don't know what that was from what's our average temperature so about 37, 38. That's why I'm cold. And I'm getting Go like outside. a 22 all the way through the room. Wait, it's going to 45. There's what? 50. Oh, I got a 50. I got um, a reading um, here. Um, uh, 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 uh. I got a reading here. <laughs> yeah, it's just a chair moves on its own. Everybody just get up and run away. Phil and his son have had enough. They just run right out of the attic. <laughs> yeah. But when Phil uploads the video, many viewers claim that they can actually see something sitting in the chair what? that slides out. I don't but see anything. What do you think? I don't see anything sitting on that chair. I don't, I don't see anything. The wandering patient. This next video takes place in an allegedly haunted hospital. Now the story uh, goes that the spirit of a little girl who passed away still wanders the hospital halls, oh, unable no. to move on. Oh, Down God. in the hospital cafeteria, the staff working the late night shift experience something that makes their blood run cold. Uh oh. Uh, it's opening on its own. The doors. Little girl, are you good? Why are you playing with the doors? Stop playing, girl. Oh, no, no, little girl. No way, no way, no way, little girl. You're playing, come here. It's open. Playing with the doors. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh. It's, why is it green light now? You need something. Ah! Ah! Yeah, you see that. Now the hospital night staff all know the creepy story of the little ghost that supposedly wanders the hospital. So they watch in terror as the cafeteria gates and automatic door open and close on their own. Almost as if someone is walking there. But as the doors close, a small dark figure can be seen walking by the doors oh on God. the other side. But whatever it is, it somehow just doesn't trigger the automatic doors. So could the stories be true? And is the hospital indeed haunted by the spirit of a little girl? Sure. I leave that up to you to decide. Sure. The Madison Seminary. 
Two teams of paranormal investigators decide to explore the allegedly haunted Madison Seminary in Madison, Ohio. Madison Seminary was built in 1847, and over the years the building has been used as a school, a hospital, a mental asylum, and even as housing for the grieving families of men who died in the Civil War. Okay. With a long, dark history like that, it's no surprise that many ghosts are said to haunt its abandoned halls. So one spirit in particular is said to be that of a very unfriendly doctor who tries to frighten and physically attack anyone who visits Madison Seminary. Duh. Now, the team of paranormal investigators has just started to explore the building when investigator Mandy notices something very odd. Good thing in the ghost hunting of friends. What? Am I gonna die? Wait, what? Whoa. Oh, yeah. Dude, he's super red. Wait, what? Wait, what? 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 Look at that. Oops, I'm just kidding. Oh, he's red. Yeah, I see it. Oh, what the? F it almost looks like a, like a thumb. That's thing. weird. <laughs> what? What? It's a weird spot too. Where did that come from? I don't even feel anything. Like it doesn't feel like anything right now. Does not? No, that's weird. Hmm. Oh, well, where did that come from? Does start to feel like something. Yeah. Again? So it's burning or something? I mean, that's it's so that's just... red. Know, it's not bothering him though, so... Ghost Hunter Steve is shocked to discover that a large red mark has suddenly appeared on the back of his neck. These but aggressive ghosts. It doesn't really feel a thing. So the group continues upstairs where the angry spirit of the doctor is said to sometimes appear. As uh, they record, they capture something that is downright creepy. Listen. Get out. Y'all gonna acknowledge that? It sounds like a voice. It was like two or three Telling you to get out. Doctor. <laughs> it just said doctor. Uh, hey! Yeah. So the thing is, he says he doesn't like to be called a doctor because he says he was a surgeon. So people call him a doctor and it makes him angry. So we call him a doctor, usually. Is there a doctor down there? Is there? Is there? Yeah. 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 Did you hear that? Yeah. I definitely heard a voice coming from down there. The group hears a male voice coming from somewhere in the attic. But did you see it? I don't think after the investigators hear a voice in their obelisk ghost box says the word doctor. Doctor. A small dark figure can be seen <laughs> running into the attic hallway. Yeah, I actually did see that. The ghost hunters oh my. don't even notice the odd figure. How? Only see it once How? They review their footage later. How? So did they capture the spirit of the old hospital doctor on camera? You decide. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Club Paranormal. Caught on camera. Late one night, Claire Mills from Manchester, England gets a notification on her ring camera that someone is moving around in her front yard. For obvious reasons, Somebody. Claire is a bit worried, and she immediately checks the camera footage. Okay. What she sees sends chills down her spine. What? Wait a minute! Ah! It's just a mist. It's just a mist. Is the mist gonna appear a again? Strange white mist can be seen quickly darting down the driveway before disappearing completely. Gone. Claire has no idea what to make of this bizarre figure and wonders if she might have caught a ghost on eh, camera. I don't know, man. Security guard Garamirez Rivera up. is working the night shift on New Year's Eve at a Bodega Herrera store in Torreon, Mexico. The security guard is a little bit bored and records a video complaining about having to work all alone on New Year's Eve. I mean, I don't Suddenly, blame him. something very strange happens. Working all alone on New Year's Eve. I, I don't blame this guy. Año nuevo, señores. Happy Feliz New Year. Año nuevo aquí, encerrado. Quedando el rondín. Jales, jales. Work is work. Sin llorar. Ay, güey. Ay, ay. Did you turn Buzz Lightyear? Dude, imagine if those toys start moving their heads and their heads start facing this guy's direction. That's gonna be creepy. Dude, who's activating the toys? Buzz Lightyear is alive. Hi. Dude, turn its head, I, I dare you. Turn the head. Turn the head. Yo. Oh my god. Get out, get out. After this creepy occurrence, the security guard is a little freaked out, but just brushes it off. 
But then it's Buzz Lightyear at three twenty in the morning, Rivera thinks he's seeing someone walking behind him from the corner of his eye. Why? Even though he's the only person in the store. Why? A little spooked, he decides to record himself as he walks through the store, hoping to catch a glimpse of any mysterious intruder that might be following him. My God. What happens next is truly bizarre. Uh, good evening. No, bueno, I, más bien, you're nervous, I'm scared. Siempre traigo mi celular a la mano. Keep your cell phone handy. Son las tres veinte de la mañana. Me tocó aquí shift. guardia nocturna. Ah, Voy a volver a estar solo. Pero. But. Ahorita acabo de ver a alguien. Saw somebody there at the customer's entrance. En la entrada de clientes. Se miró. Allá por la entrada de clientes hasta allá hasta atrás. All the way back there. Y. And. There's no one there. You sure? No hay nadie. You sure? Así lo voy a dejar a ver si You're going to leave it to a cordon. Pues de pura see if by a chance we can see it. Chingadera se vuelve a ver. Well, for now I don't see it. Nothing. Y lo vi clarito, clarito. And I saw it very clearly. Ya lo vi otra vez. I saw it again. A veces el, a veces Sometimes you can see it. No, me da miedo ir. I'm afraid to go there. Oh my god! Oh. I see it. Dark Shadow, you see there? I see it. It's, it's walking. It's going. It's moving. Oh god. Oh, it's moving. It actually is. You see it? It's walking. In fact, no way. Go say hi to him. Go walk up to them. He keeps moving. It's still moving. Are you gonna. It's clearly a person. Well, then go up there and talk to them. No, 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 no. Let's get out of here. Dude, so, what if it could be just a real person and not a ghost? J just somebody breaking in. One or something can be seen lurking behind the creeped out security guard. Oh my. Like, see, look at it. looks like he's wearing a t-shirt that has like something written on the shirt. Like, like a big white picture on it. He could just walk up to this guy and talk to him. Now, we cut to a week later and Rivera is back on another night shift when he spots a little girl wow. aimlessly wandering around outside the supermarket. Whoa, 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 but before da, 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 da. Her, she simply disappears into the night. Given the late hour and the fact that the little girl was all alone, many viewers have speculated that this little girl could have been responsible for the strange occurrences in the store. Really? Some even suggest that she might actually be a ghost. Really? So now a few months go by and things seem to be back to normal at the store. Okay, but then Rivera nice. spots a shopping cart doing something a little weird. Why? Hola amigos. ¿Cómo están? Oigan, estoy en mi hora de. You're on your lunch break. What shopping cart's doing something weird? No van a creer, amigos. You don't believe it, guys. Ahorita. Just now I heard no the cart move, but I didn't see it. What's that cart gonna do? Very clear, somebody had grabbed it. Well, I don't know, it might be not my nerves. <laughs> Shaking! But yeah, so it's very clear. Show us it again. What the play? Clarito, clarito. <coughs> I don't want to play. I don't want to play. I, I, I don't want to play. No one wants to play. Si yo... You didn't want to record it, obviously. <laughs> but look, no way. I see nothing. I don't, I don't see anything. It's moving on its own. It wants to play. <laughs> It no wants manches. to play. No it wants to play. No se way. Movió. No way. It El moved. The cart moved. Movió. I saw it. I did. I saw it. I saw it. Did it want to play? Maybe. Maybe. Se Maybe. Movió, se movió. It moved. As the I get it. Guard it attempts yes. to capture evidence of the shopping cart moving, a soft voice can be heard saying, Ucamos? Which basically translates in English to. Want to play? Que lo movieron, amigos. Want to play? Clarito, clarito. 
So could it be that the Bodega Herrera store in Torreon is haunted by the spirit of a little girl? Or just what is going on here? I don't know, is but it? look at this. That does not look like a figure of a little girl to Torreon me. Torreon is haunted by, by the spirit of a little girl? It does not. Or just what is going on here? Yeah, that's a little here? girl. Yeah. I leave it up to you to decide. <laughs> His store is haunted. Haunted. Really haunted. Next vid. Ooh. Out of all kinds of paranormal activity, those involving dolls are probably the creepiest. Oh, and this dolls? next video is no exception. YouTuber Zombie66 uploaded the following video and writes, This was a video of cup stacking. Hmm. I am very worried and cannot figure out how this happened. I have since placed the doll away in an old barn I have. Okay. This is the footage that was caught. Be sure to pay close attention to the background for this one. All right. Oh, yeah, the music. Oh, my God. Yeah, the music does add to the creepy vibe. This looks like, look like a really old place. The shells, the wooden furniture. Doll is up there as a rising. It's a uh, uh, girl's. <laughs> what was supposed to be a video of someone showing off their cup stacking skills turned out to be footage of something terrifying. Literally is. Yes. A doll is caught on camera moving on its own, and it seems that no one had noticed until watching the footage later. Yeah, but how, how did the boy not notice? Yeah, like him, he didn't notice it when he was watching the two girls. Needless to say, they were left disturbed after seeing this. Uh, now, this yeah, is the only video on the channel where something paranormal happens, which makes it more believable, as someone else who fakes such videos would upload more of this content for views. Whether or not the footage is real is up for debate. But if there's one thing most viewers agree on, it's that placing the doll in the barn was a good idea, as it's better to be safe than sorry. Yes. Oh my. No string attached to it, huh? Laura Just Honigan it posted up. the following video after capturing footage of something creepy on her baby monitor. Oh, really? Her daughter... What's up with ghosts and haunting toddlers, infants, or children? ...is resting in her crib when Laura all of a sudden gets a bad feeling. She promptly runs to her daughter's room and sees that she's okay. Okay, you're good. But little does she know that something was captured on her baby monitor before she had entered the room. It's worth mentioning that no one was upstairs at the time of this recording. Laura writes, I'm f***ing terrified. Well, okay. This is what was caught. If it makes you say that, then it's gotta be terrifying, right? What's going on? Somebody walked by. Somebody. It appears that a pair of legs were caught on camera. Here's a follow-up video Laura had made in response to this creepy footage. There was legs that were walking, it looked like legs, that were walking out of her room. And her window is locked. There's no other entrance to that room, literally. And you never seen nothing going in. It just was legs going out. You seen me come in, come out, and then you see those legs go out, and then you see me come upstairs to get her and go out. Laura okay. doesn't know what to make of this. What's strange about this is that whoever, or whatever this was, appears to have come out of nowhere, as no signs of entry were seen in the daughter's room. So she it did could say be the that a squatter locked. was hiding in the house, given the fact that most squatters tend to hide in places like the attic. Squatters. Perhaps that's where they came from. But of course, I'll leave it to you to figure this one out. So somebody broke into was a house. ghost caught on camera, or had something else been captured? Rewatch the clip and decide for yourself. Could be if a you ghost. If you caught X vlogs, submitted the following photo. Photos writes, again. Oh, I've no. taken this picture in the Philippines back in 2009 when I started my career as a photographer. I took a picture of my friend to try my new camera. But what I captured is truly shocking and hair raising and still haunts me to this day. This really? Is the photo he took. Don't like this. Oh, oh my god, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've always hated these ones. Uh, 
Look at that! And you not notice, sir? <laughs> oh man. A woman is captured in the background and appears to be wearing a gown that might be covered in blood. Covered in no blood? No information was given on this picture. Oh yeah, I see it. But regardless, the picture itself is enough to have anyone look over their shoulder the next time their picture is taken. I would, yeah. Yep, if I take a picture of myself, I am looking behind me before I take my picture. <laughs> I don't want this. I don't want a bloody dressed woman to be right behind me. <laughs> this next video shows someone who's alone at home That's when something sad. really creepy is caught on camera. Hi Nelson suggested the following video and writes, Mr. Spouter is woken up in the middle of the night by a strange noise. He tries his best to keep his cool, as what's happening in the clip is quite unnerving. Here's the footage that was caught. Talking to myself. <clears throat> Something with a spank. Right. On my stairs. Hmm. Dusty as <sighs> Somebody gonna open that door? <laughs> Why is it too quiet? What's gonna happen? Why is it too quiet? What's going? What's going on? <gasps> Is that a nip as well? <gasps> oh, no. <sighs> really, really. It appears that Mr. Spouter is just hearing things. But then one night, Mr. Spouter wakes up again in the middle of the night and captures this. Going on. Come on. Something on the stairs. Something's on the stairs. You can't hear it though. I can't. You can't. But you can? Is this just tip tapping toe it? Uh oh, if somebody's on the stairs. Oh god, scare. Jump scare. Three, two, one. Okay, nobody. Ready? It appears that someone or something was hiding in Mr. Spouter's room. Ha. Ha. Viewers can't help but think ha. that this may have been a devious entity that was observing Mr. Spouter without him knowing. Ha. As with all videos, I leave it to you to decide as to what this might have been. Ha. Ghost or not. Ha. Feel free to let me know what you think. I don't know, man. But hey. Ha. That was the try not to get scared challenge. Did you get scared at all? Hey, I'm talking to you. Did you get scared at all? But hey, if you didn't get scared at all, then good job. Pat yourself on the back. You won. But anyway, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you do me a favor. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring that notifications bell so you don't miss out on anything that I post. I'll see you next video. Bye bye.